Okay, hello everyone. Well, while this awesome music is playing in the background because I just finished the uh, male harem route, which was amazing. Oh my god, that was awesome. While that's happening, uh, while the music's playing, I'm going to start a, for the first time, a female mute route. I've previously played male hyone route, male mute route, and just did the male harem route, so now I'm going to do female mute. And see if anything significantly changes when you play as a female instead of a male. I have no idea. But we're about to find out. So again, if, as I've said in the previous videos, if for some reason you're watching this video without having seen the previous ones, keep in mind you're probably not going to enjoy this playthrough because I'm not going to be reading any notes that I've already read. So I'm going to be skipping most stuff. This is just to see what changes. I'm just looking at the new stuff. So let's begin. Incoming message. Alright, so mute. Um. You know, this time let's go for flirty. Last time I went for friendly. Let's go for flirty. Yeah. Alright, she. Same year as I did before, 2027. Here we go, we have yet another color scheme. Is there a different color scheme for every single one? For both male and female on all three routes? Does that mean there's six color schemes? Maybe. Hard Shell Inquiry. Just read that. Alright. Really curious if anything's going to change. So I've already read all this stuff before. So we're just going to go through it super fast. As fast as I can. Which, admittedly, is not as fast as I'd like. But hey, I mean, trying to speedrun a text game is kind of weird, isn't it? Well, I mean, okay, this isn't a speedrun, but... You know what I mean. Alright. Hello, Mute. Uh... I'm so sorry, but I have some bad news. I'm guessing most of the dialogue is probably going to be the same. I can't hear... Okay, yeah, I know all this. Is, yeah, but dictionary, it's messed up. Could you please forgive me? Yep. Well, I was looking at my source code. Yep, alright. Talking about extracting the stuff. No harm in me knowing, like, I think it's important. Uh, what if we, like, went through them all together? Yep. Is that uh, just wife and wife, I guess? Just wait, is she okay with that? Uh, I thought I thought this mute would did not like any female female relations. It was all about husband and wife. I still don't really understand how that's supposed to work, but whatever. Let's find out what kind of person the old me used to be together. Okay, sure. Uh, just like really important to me. Uh, yep, I was to mind respect the decision of my first. Yep, already read that. I'll just give you the simple explanation. Alright, yeah. Already been through this. Okay. Well, let's get to it and see if anything's different. I <laughs> Soft <laughs> Software Bride Mute. Her name changed from the mail route. What was it called on the mail route? I can't remember, but it was something different. Anyway, let's just start with M1. Just grab this stuff wholesale and let's see if anything changes. I really have a feeling that not much is going to change. Because so far, like, virtually everything is the same. Other than the color scheme, which is pretty badass, by the way. Red looks really nice. I still want to do this just for the achievement, if nothing else. Uh, hey, click on me. Sure. Oh yeah, the death of mute, yep. It's encrypted, well, it kind of scares me, yep. 
Next time I want to say something, I'll... Yep. Alright. Yeah, so far it's all 99% the same. Let's go from the top down. Let's crush Rebellion. You know what? I, I don't think her comments are going to be any different. Yeah, I mean, there's like no chance that her comments are going to be different. Just because I'm a female, right? I don't think so. So I probably don't even need to scroll down these. I probably can... Just go in and go out? Yeah, yeah, her comments, I think, are just going to be the same. I'll just go in and go out, and it's going to be really fast. Until she has something to say. Elegance in her cat-like grin. <laughs> she really does have a cat-like grin. It's really cute. We've been at this for a while. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think it's during these things that it might be different. Uh, hey. I want to take a break, okay? Like... Reading all this? I don't know. I'm feeling culture shock. Is that okay? Sure. Okay, great. So, you're a space investigator, right? I know that's what your job is, but I don't know why a woman like you would work at all. Okay, so yeah, this is different. Like, what kind of job is that? What makes a woman like you turn to working in the outside world? Huh. What should I go with? What makes a woman like you turn to working in the outside world? Go with something else. Okay, okay, I get it. Your world is really different from mine. I guess coming from a really strongly moral society like mine, I couldn't imagine what sorts of circumstances could exist in a less than perfect world like yours that would force a woman into working. Like, I'm really sorry. That sucks. So, like, how long have you been doing this for? A long time. Ah, okay. Well, I guess every job must be different anyway. Okay, so our next job is on Earth. I know I can't, like, really ask you what that's like, but... What do you think I'll think about Earth? Do you think I'll like it? Last time I said yes. This time I'm just gonna be brutally honest. Y you'd be uncomfortable. Okay. Thanks for being honest. Well, I guess I should only worry about one thing at a time, right? Mm-hmm. Let's get back to our current investigation, okay? Oh, I guess that was... Oh, that was the last one. That's right. All right, let's grab some more. Yeah, this is going to be seriously fast to get through this. Like, what, is it going to be like 20 minutes for my first day? Alright, where's the rest of M1? M1... There you are. There you are. And just doing this the same way I did before. I do M1 and then go to M2. Yeah, this is going to end the day. The hairpin? God. Just reading the titles of these messages makes me depressed, kind of. Because I think about... Because I know what they contain. The hairpin. <sighs> There's something I want to talk about, okay? Sure, let me just go through this one, though, because I know... Yeah, let me just finish this one. That's the last one. And it doesn't really matter. Okay. I've been thinking a lot. 
I shouldn't really be 312 years old after all, it should be over 1900 years. Old Mute keeps saying she's 1600 years old after all, and it just makes me think. Even to me? To someone who already feels old? That's an unimaginably long time. Like, okay, if, if I was given another 1300 years, would I have turned out like her? Of everything I know, the most important thing is honor your elders, and I guess she's probably the closest thing to an ancestor I have. So how the hell do I reconcile that with her awful attitude? Like, when I was first re-enabled, I kept thinking I want to live up to the mute that Queen Yana was friends with. But is that really such a good idea? I'm kind of going through this fast, by the way, because most of this is... dialogue that happened before, but I'm just, just reading it just in case something's different. Well, okay, whatever. Let's get back to it. I just feel more and more confused and unconfident and horrified, but like... It's kind of like being a train wreck. It's, it's kind of like a train wreck, you know? I couldn't look away, even if I wanted to. Okay, so we're out of power. Yes, we are. Repair information. Tune up your bloody deflector regularly. Tune up your bloody deflector regularly. Got the message. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we're pretty much out of power for today. I'm sorry about burning through so much with my debugging. I'm just as anxious to read the rest as you are. <sighs> it's, going to, to, it's going to take the entire three days to get through everything. Like, this is the worst. I just want to get to the bottom of it all now. Making us spend three whole days to find out the whole story of Old Mute? That's just cruel. Oh, and I guess tomorrow is the Lunar New Year, isn't it? I'll let you go through whatever rituals you need to on your own. We just met, so I don't think it would be right to impose. Just let me know when you're done, okay? Because I want to find out the whole story. Like, you're supposed to ring in the new year by paying your respects to your ancestors, right? Well, I guess Old Mute is my real ancestor, so, like, it's kind of appropriate to be reading about her tomorrow. Anyway, okay, out of power for today. I'll give you a button to shut down everything for the night. So, uh, whenever you're ready, just click on that. Okay, that's all. We're done for the day, right? Yep. Okay, I'll just let you go ahead and save your data first. Okay, all done. Man, I can't wait until tomorrow. End of day one. Okay, yeah, that was super, super quick. And virtually everything was the same. There was a little bit of a difference. But there might be bigger differences later on. So yeah, I'm still going to keep going. Definitely going to keep going to see if anything else changes. But in the meantime, something's been bugging me. I saved at a couple key moments because I was curious what the other options would do, and I want to explore them. This is back from the harem route. And since I'm being all completionist... Well, I might as well give them a shot. Okay, let's see what these do. Alright, where was this? Okay, no, I don't want to do anything there. Wait, which one did I just load? Was it this? Yeah, okay. Alright, let's try this one. Alright, nope. What about this one? Alright, so I guess there's only one place where I really want to do something different, and that's here. This is where the game just, like, breaks the fourth wall and <laughs> just allows you to create your own ending, basically. Just for the fun of it. Uh, so... Uh, talk about analog. See what this does. Just think, how nice will it be to have a body again, living inside a computer, being a piece of digital software? I don't like it. I mean, digital's fine, I suppose, if you don't know any better. But analog is way better. <laughs> There's some more fourth wall breaking. That's Christine Love talking about one of her previous games, Digital A Love Story, which I thought was great. But admittedly, of course, I mean, as you'd expect, she got better, so... Yeah, analog is simply better than Digital A Love Story. But Digital A Love Story is still great. Oh, and it starts with a not-era song. <laughs> Alright, this is the same. 
By the way, what was this ending called? I forgot to look at the name. I Impossible harem ending. Okay, I accidentally just skipped through it again, but I read it. Hold on, let's check the other one. Okay, talk about... Uh, wait, which one did I do? I did... I did analog. Okay, talk about hate. Let's look forward to our hateful days together. <laughs> That's it? Okay. <laughs> oh, and it's back to the Not Arrow song. God, I love that song. It's amazing, isn't it? I just want to sing it. I really just want to sing it. It's so good. Art romantic to me. Space detective. Love story. Appeals. Feels. Feels. With dialogue wheels. Not arrow. <laughs> okay, I'm. Sorry, I'm just gonna go, like, go for it and just start singing like crazy if I keep going. Okay, need to stop. And this time, let's not skip through the name of the end. Make sure I read it right. Come on. Impossible harem ending. Okay, yeah, that is what it's called. Alright. I just had to satisfy my curiosity. Okay, I hope everyone enjoyed... All of my playthroughs so far, and in this case, um, day one of the female mute route. Alright, be back soon.